When I was in 12th grade, I joined an a cappella competition with six of my friends, three girls and five boys. It was 4.30 in the afternoon, and our mentor decided that we should go to the music room to practice our vocals since the competition will be the next day. We had been studying in that school for almost two years, but we had never entered that room before. As we entered the room, the first thing I noticed was the piano located near the door. It was quite old, as were the other guitars stored in the corner of the room. Andy, stop staring at the piano. It's an old piano. You won't be able to play it. He went to the piano and pressed the keys to prove that it wasn't making any sound. I just nodded at him and followed his orders during practice. We all blended so well, following his instructions. An hour later, there was a beep from his phone. Guys, there's an emergency. I'll just have to go downstairs for a bit. Wait for me. Don't touch anything. He instructed. We all nodded and he left the room. Sitting on the floor, we started chatting about the strategies we would use for the competition. A few minutes later, my friend Eric said something unrelated. Damn, I need to pee bad. And ran towards the door, shouting, Don't leave me! Before shutting it, we continued chatting and the conversation became more interesting. I didn't even notice when Eric returned to the room. In the middle of our conversation, we all heard the piano playing. I became annoyed, thinking that one of them was playing it. Hey, stop it! Sir might kill us! I scolded. Then we realized that the piano was broken and hadn't made any sound earlier. We looked at the piano, and it was playing on its own. We were all frozen in place, shaking to our core. I stood behind my other friend, trembling, and we all decided to exit through the door. My friend Eric was panicking so badly that he couldn't open the door at first. My other friend Trina took over and quickly opened the door. We ran downstairs to tell our mentor what had happened. Sir? The, the piano was playing on its own, I cried. He was in shock and decided to send us home to rest instead of continuing the practice. The next day, we found out that a nun had died in that room, and she was musically inclined. Our mentor joked that she was just trying to help us, but it wasn't a funny experience for us. We hadn't seen a nun playing. But witnessing a piano playing its keys was terrifying. <laughs>